what what what, what, what do you uh, if you were managing him or if you wanted to guide him yeah. a certain way, what what do you say? I mean, uh, for me, it's like me and mom always like had him focus on school, so it was always like student athlete versus the other way around. So it's like um, he's always been like smart, so all always like top of, top of his grade and all that. So for us, it's kind of like. You know, I, I would hopefully he makes it for football. He's always excelled at it. Um, and I'm just basically a support system. I try not to, like, force their hand on what they do as far as their life because I live my life. This right. is their life. It's, it's, it. And I think as parents, sometimes you kind of force your dreams on your kids. I kind of just lay back and kind of guide them to the to the best solution of what they want to get to. So he That's wants to play football. So right now, like I manage a lot of his like his uh, football pages. I get his highlights, mm -hmm. and then next year we'll really start hitting a lot of these other camps, getting them highlight films, and going to different schools and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So that'll build up. So my thing is just here to support him right. as a parent and be his cheerleader. You know what I'm saying? Man. I try not to waver him. Oh, where you want to go? We got to do this. We got to do that. It's like, you know, this is their life, you know. Yeah, so I don't want to just overpower them with what I think he should do. Mm -hmm. You know, if he loves football, I'm going to make sure, you know, he got the good, op right opportunities. Because I didn't play football, so I, I'm always trying to put him with the right coaches to mm -hmm. make sure he get better mm -hmm. and just guide him that way. But, you know, he said he want to play football, and that's our plan for now. And then if that changes, if it, like you said, if it's an injury, Lord forbid, or something like that, then, you know, we'll look to that into that direction. Okay. So he was born in Arizona. Mm -hmm. okay. So, right. so like say for instance with your other son, uh, uh, man. Yeah. He started playing basketball, mm -hmm. and then he just said, "I didn't want to play basketball." Yeah. Uh, so like with did that, that upset you, or did you nah. just be like, "Yeah, hey, well, you know, that's your decision." No. Nah, so with that, it was like um, when COVID hit. You know, it kind of shut down everything. Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. like, he oh, yeah. ended up switching schools. He he was trying to play basketball, and uh, they had a couple games because of COVID. Mm -hmm. So then when his senior year, he wanted to go back to the other school, and then they said he was a double transfer. That So that kind of stopped him from preventing him from playing basketball. Like being a red shirt. So that kind of, like, I think his drive for it was kind of like, you know, this is my senior year, I can't play. So his drive trying to try to shift it. But he's mm -hmm. always been in the fashion. He liked to dress. They did a vid, uh, a little picture that just went viral, kind of on YouTube, you know, mm -hmm. on, on the internet or whatever, over like six hundred some thousand views and all of that. People right, sharing it. Saying. So he's he's always been in the fashion. So he's um, looking to go to fashion design school. So like I said, for me, it's like I don't try to force him. You know, I mm -hmm. still train basketball. I still, you know, I love playing myself. So I still play myself. But it's kind of like this is his life. Mm -hmm. You can't force your right. hand on somebody. So right. it's like if you want to go to fashion. If you want to go to fashion, I'm just going to try to get you into the right schools, you know, and just support your dreams. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, that's his life. Like, you know, I don't want to, I think, like I said, as, as parents, sometimes you force your life on somebody mm -hmm. and then they end up regretting it or they ended up having a grudge towards you because it didn't, you know, it didn't work out. So you just like kind of like let them live their life and live their dreams. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's what's up. That's a great dad, man. He's doing a great job, brother. He's doing yeah. a great job, yeah. man. Because the reason why I asked that, because you know, one one morning he might just wake up and say, you know what, yeah. Dad, I'm I'm cool, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, I'm good. You would be okay with that? Yeah. Okay. My thing, like I said, my thing is this is their life. If he said I want to play football tomorrow, um, hey. Well, what, what you want to do? Right. We right. on to the next thing. Like, like what's going to make you happy? I'm supporting Because, like, at the end of the day, like, I, I made my decisions. Like, when I was playing basketball and, you know, I was playing college and I let the money grab me and take me somewhere else. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it was, like, my life to live. So right. now when I had three kids, I think um, what I remembered about my dad was just, like, you know, he worked and worked and worked. And, you know what I'm saying? I can remember how many games he went to. So for me, my attitude was different. was, like, no matter what, I'm going to focus on being there just to support them. Right, right. So he'll tell you, I probably missed maybe a, I can't even count on how many 
a one hand on how many games I've missed of his. Mm -hmm. And it, if I did miss it, it's because I had other other things. But, you know, I've always been there to support all my kids the same way. You know, I've done been to cheerleader events or just going to football games when my daughter was cheering. Mm -hmm. And I didn't even know who was playing. Yeah, I was just right, there yeah. to support her. So just doing stuff like that and just supporting your kids, I think, is being the best parent you can be. Is, you know. Actually, I think I went to uh, uh, one, or, one or two of his games. And I don't, I don't remember how old he was, but at, at the game, your daughter was a cheerleader. It might have been for man, though. Did they be cheer for man? I think so. At one point, yeah, at one point my daughter did cheer because my, my two oldest are pretty much the same. My daughter's uh -huh. 18 and my son's 17. Right. So they're closer in age. So, because Little Gray, he played basketball mostly, but he played football a couple mm -hmm. years too. So it probably was that game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I remember because I brought my daughter, and my when my daughter saw your daughter cheerleading, yeah. she wanted to do that. But yeah, my yeah. daughter wind up doing basketball. Yeah. Um. Yeah, she. she <laughs> 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 yeah, I mean, like sometimes kids take after their fathers, and she took after her father. I mean, I never had a boy, so. If she wanted to do that, I don't, I don't stop her. If she, that's what yeah. she want to do. But she woke up one morning and said, "Ah, Dad, I'm cool. I don't want to do boxing." Said, All right. Now she's just a bad little kid. <laughs> so don't, don't turn that way. Um, but I want to say I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you both. I'm proud of you as a dad and uh, being a support, like you say, being his cheerleader. And, and being his guide, his guide for life, period. Yeah. Not just in sports, but in academic and through becoming a man. Yeah. Um, and I want to say I'm proud of you uh, staying focused, not only in sports, but in your grades and staying out of the riffraff of the streets. Um, is there anything you'd like to say? Man, I just think you're doing a great job at being a parent, man. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's that's it, being open with your kids and let them do their thing, live their dreams, and yeah, not yeah. you trying to force your dream upon them. You know what I'm saying? So I think you're doing a great job, man. Yeah. Just stay at it, brother. You, you're doing good. You wouldn't be here today in Las yeah. Vegas if you wouldn't do yeah. it. Something. I mean, yeah, that, you know and that's saying? the main thing. If it's like, because, uh, you know, I watch y'all, you know, when I was younger, y'all was growing up, mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's how I got into basketball. Uh, my brother playing, mm -hmm. and uh, I used to be like, man, he was like Michael Jordan, like you know, yeah. When, yeah so, he was like Michael Jordan. so like when you little, <laughs> like, right? Like, no, that, that means used to be. So look, so when you little, mm -hmm. you looking at this person like, man, like he the right. best, you right. know what I'm saying? So then I remember when he came home, and then I took him to play. Mm -hmm. I was better than him at that time because oh, yeah. he was like, oh, stop, oh, you know. Yeah. So it's a difference, but. You know, that's how I got into sports, just watching my older brother and, and taking after that. It's like, man, so I want to, you know, do that. So for for them, it's like even when they were, before they were playing basketball, I was taking them to the gym with me and they would see me playing and just getting into sports. So whatever they wanted to gravitate towards, I let them play. So he just happened to stick more to football and my other son stuck more to basketball. So it wasn't like I forced them to play a, a certain sport. I just, whatever y'all gravitate, if they would have picked up a baseball, we would be at baseball games. That's right. Like, you know, that's how, that's how it ended up being so you know like I said I'm just a support system for them like you know help them reach in their they dreams so mm -hmm. that's great yeah. man that's great so yeah so you wanna, yeah you want to close it out is you ready to close it out already man yeah, yeah what time is it 25 minutes oh okay <laughs> then close it on out let me see but my daughter she she stopped playing I mean she stopped doing boxing but yeah. now she's in the chess class chess I don't know how she got in the chess, but in chess, hey, in that's, chess, and that's a hard game, though. Yeah, chess. That's very like very. I actually mean, had to go to the school and do a tournament against her. I don't even know how to play chess, really. You think I'm gonna let my daughter beat me? <laughs> I don't even know how to play. She would have beat me. I, she yeah. don't know how to play. I can play. Like I can play some checkers though. Just because she, <laughs> just because she, chess, my daughter, I ain't letting her win. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe so. buddy will teach me one day. He might teach us, man. You know, yeah. I'm saying, I don't know I how to play chess. I got ten years in prison built up. No, that's that's a. I mean. Play some dominoes or something like that, but I just never you got in. Play dominoes too. I ain't never got into playing chess because, yeah. like I said, it's like I never really learned it. So, but that is a mental game, and I yeah. feel like for her to get into that, 
you know, you got to think like how her mind is working. Mm -hmm. So that's bigger. Like most people oh, that yeah. play chess are real smart, mm -hmm. smart because they oh, yeah. you got to think ten steps ahead of yeah, people. Yeah, and yeah. that's just a, that's a life lesson right there. And you got to know all the moves. You yeah. Make. And and the thing of it is, uh, she's a redhead like like two of his kids. Mm -hmm. And and last, like I said, two of his kids excelled ap academically. Right. And they're ready. The other one is pretty smart too. Right. But they all the redheads is something wrong with them. Oh yeah. Well, you know. Something right with them. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is, man. Yeah. You know, he'll be all right, man. The yeah. man doing his thing though. He's doing his thing though. All I right. like what he doing. So now you can so, do the intro. Anyway, so anyway, we're gonna close it out, man. It look like security headed our way. Anyway, so we're gonna close it on out, <laughs> man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he look like the the motherfuckers hide behind the dumpster. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to close it on out, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say this, see if I can say this right. We recording. We can, you, you still recording? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to close this out, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad to have y'all come and join us on Real Inglewood yeah, Moments, yeah. man, and share your football experience with us. You know what I'm saying, man? You're doing a great job. Your dad is doing an awesome job, Thank man. You, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all coming to sit down and talk with us. You know what I'm saying? As you get further in your career, man, we would like to sit down and talk to you again. You know what I'm saying? See where you at, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Uh, on that, we're going to sign out with Real Inglewood Moments, y'all. Me and my co-host, Buddy Loco. Y'all know how we do it. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stay tuned. Subscribe, like, comment to our page, man. And you know how we do. We doing the most, man. That Real Inglewood Moments. Ah. Uh -huh. Street Red.